Okay. The decision is not mine alone. Okay. If you don't go get an assessment, I have the, I have the department that I report back to, and then they will give me directives on what I have to do next. If, I understand. If, if we don't feel like the children are safe. So what I'm explaining to you is is I. I just would like for you to go get that assessment because that's half of the problem. If you go get the assessment and they report nothing, that that helps you. I just have a problem with some of the inconsistencies that you're telling me don't exist. I'm not going to argue you that do, but, but they're very saying, relevant. I'm if I take this evaluation, they say I'm full. Well, now do you get to give me equal say as you gave, we'll say, the other it, parent? It's not, it's not about having equal say. I, I, everything that you're telling me, I'm going to report, right? I'm going to document everything that you yeah. told me. Just like I re I document everything that the mom told me. Okay. But if, if I need you to do an assessment, just like if I need a mom to do an assessment, whatever the professional says, hey, look, nothing was found, I'm going to document that. Oh, yeah. Okay. So it's in your file to say, hey, look, he did go get the mental assessment and they said that there's nothing okay is it's it going to be documented so it helps you okay but then i just need to know then has the things i've already told you about the inconsistency with the school the stuff with the vice principal the sheriff stuff that i just have you documented that i stated those statements i'll be happy i am they all of that will be documented in my in in my information so everything you told me will be documented all right that's that all right i, I can only, i'm gonna document what you said i that, that is will be documented okay and uh okay. one thing I, i'm sure is documented so i said that to you um, obviously, I'm not expecting you to weigh in. The truth of that, I asked you to chase it down. You say, not something I'm relevant to my thing. Okay, tossed it. You asked me to chase what down? Well, I just said, well, what you're t bringing to me about the school, That's the school doesn't say that's true. But the school, but the, I don't have, that, that's what I'm explaining to you. There was no way, when I got your referral, there mm -hmm. was no way for me to interview anybody at the school. Okay, by the time I was able to make contact, the school was out. Well, you so said you got it in April or May. However, what I'm explaining to you is, however, once I talked to mom and she said, you know what, we've already taken care of that. So you listen to a lot of mom's words and mine, you're just telling me that's not relevant. But you keep telling me that you're going to give me these things and you're not sending me any. Well, I'm going to send it to you anyways. I hope that you're respectful of it. This tape, I'll just tell you so I don't have to text the preface. Uh, this is not the first time we've been down this path. Uh, and it's, uh, well, alarming, uh, some of the things. And I know, uh, well, her mom basically tells her, uh, you better not tell regarding these orders that she's breaking. I'm going to talk to your daughter about her concerns away from the mom's home. Okay. So tomorrow when I see her, I will talk to her about the concerns she has at that home. Okay. So if she has anything she wants to tell me, she can freely tell me that tomorrow as well. Okay, but I have to one more thing to mention, uh, but when I fell in my accident, I don't know how big that was mentioned, but it was a huge deal. Uh, my kid's parent, uh, they, she called the hospital. She impersonated a family member. Uh, this is verifiable. Uh, uh, I don't know what was said, but somebody gave her a bunch of information because she impersonated a family member. Okay, we all know this. Okay. Uh, I could give you the family member, the one that said, hey, something weird happened and I pieced it together. She did, I called her out, nothing happened. Uh, that's a big deal to me because I don't know what that's all about, but I know that's not right. It scares the shit out of them that she can just do whatever, take whatever, uh, with blatant disregard like that. And that's kind of why it's so scary because I tell you something serious like that and you're, I don't expect you to go chase it down, but it's definitely not a shoulder shrug for these kids to know definitely verifiably that their mom called and falsified information to try to get information. She got information about how I was doing before anybody in my family was able to make contact. Okay. That's so a big deal I to me. Am, if you feel like your child is in danger at mom's house, then you need to be protective and take her to court. Yeah. Same thing I told mom, okay? That's what I'm here for. That's what I'm explaining to you. Child okay. protective services for the safety of the kids. Okay. Can I send stuff over to you then that's relevant pre-R? Yes, you can. Okay. You can send me whatever you need me to know before tomorrow.